Well, we have just gotten a viewer question. Uh, the viewer had heard that mango roots were uh, very invasive and could be a problem with planting them close to a house. Uh, we have old trees, new trees, all sorts of sizes of trees, and quite a few of them are close to the house. Uh, uh, like this is the, the back of the house and about 25 feet from here there is a mango tree that's probably over a hundred years old. So in that hundred years, its roots have gone all over the place. No damage at all here. Uh, the tree used to be huge. We've cut it way back. So it, from a distance, it doesn't look like it's a hundred years old, but you get up to the trunk and it is massive. Uh, then, you know, for a younger tree, there was a seedling that was over in this area years ago, and I grafted it to Julie. So this whole top of the tree is Julie, and that trunk, uh, the, you know, where the seedling was, is about eight feet from the house. Again, I'm not concerned about the roots getting under the house. And so why is that? Uh, well. The there's two types of roots basically for mango trees. You've got your tap root and that's, base that's going straight down into the soil and it provides a lot of uh, stability for the tree. And then there's like feeder roots, the lateral roots that are going out close to the top of the soil and you know searching for water and other like food. You get some nutrients from for instance, old leaves that are decomposing on the surface of the soil, and that will filter down into the, the roots. So those roots are really attracted to the water most, and under a house, unless you have leaky pipes, there is not water. So we've never seen any evidence that roots have gone under the house. In fact, in the front of the house, we have uh, what's left of a giant lychee tree. And that was planted in 1955. Its uh, trunk is probably 15 feet away from the house. And again, absolutely no damage uh, along the front of the house, no cracks in the walls or anything like that. So I really don't think that it's a big problem with the roots getting into some place that you don't want them. But the one thing that you really should consider is the, the vigor and the eventual height of the tree. Because you really don't want to have a huge tree overhanging your roof and such, especially in South Florida. Uh, that's a, a risk, at, especially uh, if a hurricane happens to come through, but also it's just uh, not a great thing for leaves falling on your roof and animals, you know, like climbing trees and getting onto your roof. So don't worry about the roots, but plant your trees so that they don't interfere with your house and anything else once they get bigger.